when you throw for biology, you just have to be aware of a few things. There are four things you have to be aware of. I call them SOPD, just to remember that these are the things I have to be aware of. First of all, the size. The size of your drawing should be as much as the space you have provided. So in your exam paper, you have that much space. Fill up the space. Try as much as possible to fill up that space you have in your exam paper, right? Drawing is an outline. What does that mean? This means I'm not going to shade. Look at the head of that worm. Do you see the head of the worm? When I draw the head, I'm not going to darken the head. No, it's just going to be an outline. So that's what's meant by an outline, right? So again, if I am to draw this segment here, I'll draw like this and like this. That's an outline of that segment, okay? So that's what's meant by an outline. Don't shade, just keep it as a line or as an outline. Proportions means what? Proportion means the relative size. Again, what does that mean? Uh, relative size. Uh, take a look at the drawing. The drawing here, the, the head is like shorter than its body, right? The world is thick in the middle, thin here, right? So before you draw, I always, I, I don't really, I'm not really good at drawing, but when I draw, you know what I always do? I always like make an outline. I follow the drawing with my pencil. Don't mess it up with the pen. And while you're tracing it like this with your pencil, you will get, well, you would start to figure out how to draw that war, right? So again, keep the same proportions. And then finally, count. The details matter. So there's always one mark for the details. What details I can include here in my drawing? I can include the number of segments in this drawing. I can include those tiny, tiny extensions. So all of these would count as a detail. So over time, how do you draw to score like all the marks? They're easy marks. You're not going to be the best drawer when you first draw. Just take like practice and then you would get hold of it, right? So again, I I'll try to draw it, but uh, I'm drawing like vertical. So it's not going to be the best drawing. Uh, so I'm just going to show an outline. I'm going to make it thick in the middle. I need to count. And I need to show that proportion thing. All right. So uh, show the extensions here. Okay. Uh, make those inner canons, right? That's, that's still an outlining. Ideally, uh, I drew this in advance. So because I can't draw, I'm like vertically standing now. Uh, ideally, the drawing should be something like this, okay? So again, make it bigger and uh, as an outline, same number of segments, uh, keep the same proportions. So that would score the marks of uh, this question. I have a question here on the same page. So the question is like this. Measure the length of your drawing. Could anyone measure his drawing and give us his number? Right, uh, the... Uh, number here, right? Um, how much is your measurement, Senma? Not 12. So I'm going to write 12 here, uh, 12 centimeters. Uh, in your, uh, so that's the original measurement. So again, this is the first measurement. That's the measurement of this worn. Uh, length of your drawing. Uh, I'm just going to assume your drawing must be bigger. So I'm just going to record like maybe 18. You can write your uh, answer in any unit. So you can run it in centimeters. You could write in millimeters. So it's up to you. You can write it as 120 millimeters or 180 millimeters. Either way, it's going to be uh, acceptable. Okay. Now, what do they want you to do? They want you to fight how many times, how many times is your drawing bigger than the original? So again, put both drawings like this. One of them was 12, one of them was 18. So how many times is this 18 larger than the uh, 12? Easy, right? So what am I going to do? I say 18 divided by 12. That would give me how many times my drawing is bigger than their drawing. So I'm just going to divide 18 divided by 12. It's like 1.5. Okay, let me just make it bigger. So 1.5. Um, there's no unit here. There's no unit for uh, magnification or how many times it's bigger because when you divide the centimeter cancels with the centimeters. 
But just like for formality, just to show them that this is how many times bigger, we usually put a small x before it. What does that small x represent? It represents that my drawing is 1.5 times bigger than their 